Mint. All right, so we got home from our trip yesterday and we landed home from Los Angeles with a blown ass slave cylinder that didn't do anything. And so we ordered a slave cylinder. So now we just gotta fix it. Yee. Yeah. So that this thing can not live at my house. I already have enough goddamn E36s at my house. Dude, you know, it's so much smaller than the fucking Fiesta. It is, I knew it was going to be. The slave cylinder works mint when the car is cold. I think either it's like bypassing because it gets heat soaked or it's like, I don't know, maybe we have like a massive amounts of moisture in the in the fluid so when it gets hot it starts boiling and it gets air bubbles. Either way we're going to replace the slave because we're not going to risk it and then we're just going to go straight for a new slave. Is it, do is it doing anything? No first even? Yeah, I'm gonna have to start it up. Start it up in first and just rippy dippy? Yeah. Mid, bud. That's first gear clutch in right there. That's what that is. <laughs> Sick. All right. Smell the gas. Under the TI, making moves. Fucking X brace. So, so we learned some things. One. The oil pan is like super dry. Doesn't really have any leaks. <laughs> Look at that. It also has an X brace already, which is super sick. Uh, this uh, is mint. I'm not worried about it. 11? 11? Yeah. Shit was so easy. Did we grab a new one yet? Uh, it's on your bucket. Great. Just like a brake light, you don't want to let it. Actually, I'm just gonna get a finger. Snug. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna top off the fluid. Are you okay? Yeah, just try not try not to spill it. Like yeah. Keep bleeding, I guess. Put it, put the parking brake off and take your foot off the brake and see if it'll go into gear. Put my foot on the brake? Put your foot off the brake. Yeah, it immediately starts spinning. So we gotta, we gotta keep going more. We replaced the slave cylinder. It didn't really do anything. We couldn't get good clutch pressure. We bled it for probably an hour and a half. We just couldn't get good pressure out of it. So we're gonna go and replace the master cylinder. And hopefully that'll get this thing dialed in and we'll have a working clutch. By the end of the day, we should have a driving 318 Ti again. Go rip some brodies. Which is, oh yeah, I'm super down for that. Yeah. We were trying to rip some brodies at like the end. We were gonna like finish off the road trip video with a fat donut or a burnout or something in this thing, but we just, it broke as you guys know who watched it. So we couldn't do that. Um, so some things we are going to do to the car at some point, um, coming from the Cheeto. That car was a 318 and when we bought it originally, it had a blown engine because one of the timing chain guides completely went. So we are absolutely going to be going through the motor, rebuilding the timing chain assembly, replacing the guides, all that good stuff. Um, we started it, so we did the slave cylinder last weekend. We pulled it over there, it sat there for a week. And when Danny came to pull it up here with no clutch, we had some blue smoke coming out of the exhaust. So my guess is we have some leaking exhaust valve stem seals. So while we're in there doing the chiming chain stuff, we're probably gonna be pulling the cylinder head off. We're probably gonna get the valve stem seals replaced. So for those of you guys who have been looking for some M42 content, we are gonna be doing a head job on this motor with new chains and new guides, specifically because we want this motor to last. As fun as it would be to put a straight six in here, um, some of the class specifications for rally that we're gonna be doing is like a stock four cylinder class. So we do need to keep this thing running tight, running mint, and dialed in. So we're gonna be keeping this M42 in here, which is good. Because a lot of you guys are very excited that we have a TI on the channel and that we're gonna be doing four cylinder stuff. It's gonna be a lot of fun. First things first though, we do need to remove one bolt, which is this guy right here. I've been itching to do this <laughs> since we picked up the car. 
Only sedans and TIs do this. So if you have a coupe or a convertible, uh, get, yeah, pretty much get fucked. So sedan master race. If you don't want a sedan, get a TI. Duh. If you don't want a TI, if you don't, if you don't want a TI or a sedan, then I don't know. I guess you like coupes. Ready, ready, ready. Oh, this hood has probably never been in the service position before. <laughs> thing, of, thing of beauty. <laughs> you just hit the car with the screwdriver. Hey, We're trying to keep this thing mint, bro. Hey, so we pulled the pedal assembly out. I left the master in the car. So there's two bolts right there and then a clip that holds it in. Figured it'd be a lot easier to work with the lines with it out of the way. So now we just have a lowly master just kind of floating. So I'm hoping if I pull the top line off, we can slide this back enough to get to the lower line because this one like sticks through a good bit. So if we have to, if we can work with this line in the cabin and not underneath the engine bay, it'll be a lot easier. Yeah. Is that the top line, the feed line? Yeah, but this should have a clip that I can pop out. Did you get it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's plastic, though, so it had been replaced at one point. VG. This is the Nomi part. Nope. That's right, it's replaced. Interesting. Well, it looks kind of shitty, so. Yeah. Plastic. So D's got the bottom line clipped in. We're just going for the top line right now, and then after that, our pedal johnnies go back into place and everything gets bolted together. Hot dog. So right now he's just putting the pedal assembly back in. He's got to bolt the new master cylinder to the pedal assembly. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt because it came with a new O-ring, and we didn't know it. The old O-ring fell off. So we ended up having to take it off like three times. <laughs> and we, could, we couldn't get the top feed line into the, ma the new master, so we had to pop out the, um, I'll show you guys. So we couldn't get that in. So what we ended up doing on the new one is taking that out, put, taking the little nozzle from the feed line and sticking it in the rubber grommet first and then sticking it back into this and then plugging it into the, the actual brake line that goes to the slave. And then uh, re-plugging in the little plastic nipple that goes in the top on the rubber grommet. Because if we did, if we didn't do it that way, it would have been a little harder. If we didn't do it that way, it, it would have been a really big pain in the butt to get it in. So we ended up just doing it that way. It was a lot easier. Right, my friend. Okay. Yes. Whatever you have said. You make a yes. Sure. Honestly, it would have been easier if we just made and swapped the whole car. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, so apparently you can do you can do an OBD2 upgrade, but you have to get a new uh, line to the slave. Yeah, you just have to get a new hard line. But if you're manual swapping, it's not. Yeah. It's not like a big problem. And you can still use this pedal assembly. Correct. Yeah, it's not the same. yeah so you got the spring on. Yeah, I accidentally kind of got the plastic, the rubber piece out, so it might make noise, but I'm not worried about it. Uh, as long as it doesn't make well, noise, we'll be fine. As long as it make it better. Oh god, immediately. Down? Good. I just like, in three strokes, went from no pressure uh, to solid pressure. Uh, uh, yeah, you got I spewing? Huh? You got shit spewing, bro? Oh, yeah. my fucking shoulder. Dude, we did that for like literally an hour and a half and we got nothing. And that's literally the second pump. The master was shot. Oh, bro, that feels way better. Down?
pretty good, huh? Yeah, it feels pretty good. Yeah, start it up. Take the, take the parking brake off. Yeah, you gotta put it in gear. Yeah, a bit. Yeah. No, not at all. <laughs> it like whistles like Alex's car. Does it? It's like. <laughs> turbo. It's turbo, bro. Cheeto looking super fresh. Sexy. Sexy baby. Ready to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is so far back. Now. All right, it made it far enough to get tacos and burritos and chips and salsa. Thing is fixed. <laughs> Oh,